Hi, Dr. Bridget here with another Prescription for Success. Today's going to be five ways to stop that negative internal chatter. So there's so many people out there, maybe yourself included, certainly myself at times, that have negative internal chatter and that stops you from achieving your goals and being happy and feeling fulfilled. And if you've been listening to my videos before, you all know that internal chatter comes from the way that we filter the vast amount of information that comes into our heads. So our negative experiences and memories, our limiting beliefs and our values that may not be totally clean, but supported by negatives. So your unconscious mind stops you from doing the things that you want to do. And we'll all be aware of things that go on in our head um, that may be quite loud or sometimes quite soft and you need to listen to them that will actually stop you from doing those things. So the first one that I think is really helpful is to journal. So I'm going to put a link to um, Dale Darley's journals because they're absolutely fabulous. And it's a really good way of getting things out of your head. So if you don't want to buy a journal, just get a, a book that's specific for your journaling and get a pen and just put the pen on the paper and start to write and see what comes up. Draw mind maps, just write down things that are in your head because when they're in your head, you can have a look at them and start to process it at a more conscious level. The second one is to step outside of yourself. So I quite often do this um, if I've had, um, I, I always remember having a bit of a rough meeting um, one time and I was a bit upset by it and it wasn't what I'd expected at all. So I was sitting in the car and going, oh, this all went wrong, and, you know, and uh, I'm not good enough to do this and, you know, I'm never going to be able to do this. And it was all going on in here and creating a bit of um, blubbing. And what I did is I actually put myself um, outside the car, if you like, and looked at myself sitting in the car from the outside. And instantly when you do that, it actually um, dissociates yourself. So that means that the negative chatter stops. So you're associated when you're sitting in the car and you're all in it and you're all emotional. But if you step out in your mind and look at yourself, then that stops the negative chatter. Third one is talking to trusted people. And in some senses, it's a little bit of the above too. So if you talk to your trusted people and you listen to yourself and what you're saying and maybe you're writing a few things down and they're talking back to you, then you actually understand what's going on. And because you understand what's going on and you become more aware of all the deeper layers of that communication that's creating that internal chatter, then that often helps it. Um, I did a blog quite recently about changing the picture or changing your reality. So the reality that you have in your unconscious mind of what's actually going on has got things that you see, things that you hear and some feelings and the things that you see, for example, may be in colour or black and white and they may be near you or they may be further away, they may be bright, they may be dim. And I did a blog about let's change the um, actual picture. I suppose um, most of you might have heard of, you know, public speaking where it's probably the world's greatest phobia. But if you actually imagine all of your audience sitting there with um, nothing on or you change them in some other way so they're all sort of sounding like Donald Duck, then actually that changes your reality. And that's just about submodality changes of your reality. And the fifth one is the really big one. And it's the reason that I'm working and that I do what I do. Um, and that's timeline therapy. And that gets rid of all your major negative emotions and your limiting decisions very, very quickly. It's a sort of reframe. So you take learnings with your unconscious mind instead of your conscious mind. And then that allows your conscious and your unconscious mind to be fully on board with each other and to get rid of any negatives. And then instantly that stops the negative chatter. So people that do breakthroughs with me or come on courses have no negative chatter at the end of that. So those are the five things. So journaling, stepping outside of yourself, talking to people, um, changing the picture that you have and some timeline therapy are all um, pretty amazing ways of stopping that negative chatter. If you want to know more, um, I do a free session. I'll put the link 
in the blog below so just get in touch there's no obligation just find out what i do how i can help what's going on in your head and then we can start that process of um, getting rid of it in whatever way is needed so that's me a bit of a longer one today but really really important and something that i'm absolutely passionate about so i shall see you next week take care bye